Hold on. Let's get it started right. With a questionable hand. Not the aggressive start I'm looking for. We currently have no play. But if we hit red mana, we can negate their first few turns. But our late game is crap. I don't want to start with a mulligan. Yeah, let's see how this deck mulligans. This hand is keepable, but I want something where I can play spells. Something like this. This is a nice attack for five on turn three hand, so we'll try this out. War Falcon it is. I'm anticipating some attended knights. Ooh. I think Flunkies gets the the vote over Krinkos. Is he gonna attack for three? That's good for us. Flint of Boar. Get after it. Oh, it's Black White Exalted. My nemesis. But I think the power level our creature should carry over. A Tended Knight would be a hiccup. But I think we can get around that anyway. He's definitely have to go two for ones on any potential blocks. Let's see how defensive he wants to get. We could play Force Mage on our boar, but it seems a little wasteful. I think I'll just swing at him. He may chump and take three. We can follow up with Krinkos for board clutter. I don't want to go hard with the Reckless Brute. Since attendant, I'll just eat him. I'm anticipating him losing a soldier. Taking three. Keeps us even on the race. He wants it. Oh, he's just going to take it? I'm fine with that. I got clutter, too. Uh, Flames of the Firebrand would be bananas. Prey upon wouldn't be bad, but land wouldn't be the worst thing, but we could do without it. Yep. So let's hope he doesn't have a servant of Nephrox or something crazy like that. Or nothing. Take it. Ooh, look who showed up. So, I think we kill this. And this. Couldn't ask for a better top deck. Well, Counter Fear kind of sucks. But it's not the worst. He can't attack with a rent Relentless Brute. 
Attended night would suck. The War Falcon's fine. If he doesn't play anything else, I think I'll just swing here. Well, I guess now I'll make him trade off his oh, crippling blight. Not cool, bro. So if I play brute, he has to block just the brute. He'll trade brute. I can attack as is, but then I'm going to lose boar. I can play force mage, brute next turn. Yeah, I'll force him to double block either of my guys to kill it. So he has to at least chump block or double block to kill either of my guys. I'm fine with that. That's that's how what we call a three for one. Crippling blight and two critters to kill a boar. And even a mutilate won't do it. Man, he went all in on war falcons. I admire that. But penning any trick, I think I'll show him the relentless brute rather than the arch druid. Alrighty, super aggro. So what do we want to bring in? Bring in a trumpet blast. He's got a lot of first strike. Could bring the turn to slag for that ring, also a removal. And a sentinel spider, because he clearly has a whole bunch of flyers. Ditch the cleaver riot. And drop the geyser. I kind of like geyser, but. You know, just burn them into the face. It was kind of a two card combo with the Archdruid. Since our mana base alone isn't really going to get us there. But it's so good if we do get there with it. I don't want to cut any of our low drops. Hmm. I think we're aggressive enough where we can... Uh, that late game finisher. It's no doubt we're going to get him low. He might bring in some life gain elements. But I would like an out to a ring. Yeah, let's do that. This ain't suitable. Get a turn two hasty boar. Flames is also very nice. He's got no play. Great googly moogly. Hasty boar! Doing it up. Flint of boar. So good. I love this cycle. I think it's great to have it in the core set. That's a little shitty for us. So I think we'll... Hmm. I 
So we can attack in flames to clear his board. But then we don't advance our board positions at all. The other option is to get one damage in and play a wolf. And then we can just rampage next turn. Yeah, I think that's the better play line. We can wolf, goblin, and rampage next turn. So we'll get our one damage in. So, Cower in the Fear would be pretty shitty, but we could still recover from that. Yeah, that's fine. So, we'll take four, but we're going to crack back for a whole lot. He could double block here, and we'd only kill one of his guardians, which would put us in a spot similar to earlier. Well, now I could Archdruid. No. Depending on his blocks, I could just flames out his board. I feel like blocks the two biggest. It's one. No, it's only going to be one, two. I could kill his threat. If I rampage, I kill one for sure, and he takes 5 plus 6, 11 damage. Yeah, let's just rampage. Or I kill both his soldiers. That's plenty good too. Yeah, that's, that's perfectly all right. So flames to kill his bird and his knight. Attack all in. And we could leave his bird alone. Kill both these guys, get in for six, have him. Yeah, let's, let's kill some stuff. I think I just want to get in for all the damage I can. This bird's a better blocker. But I'm not too concerned about it. Now, Coward and Fear doesn't affect us too much. He loses a bird from doing that. Uh, gains a little life. He's got a nice blocker. But he goes down to seven. So he blocks here and... One, two, three... And he's dead. Unless he's got a holy day. That was silly of him. Why would you sign blood when I have lethal now? I think you just realized that. Alrighty. Hasty, hasty red-green.
does it in round one. I'll see you for a second.